Search selected videos on social media. It's easy to find young white men throwing rocks, breaking glass, looting. And it can appear the protests over George Floyd's death have turned into an Antifa riot. It's not, according to elected officials. I don't have evidence as to where they're from or what their ideology may be. Though Minnesota's governor said outsiders share the blame for the destruction, CNN's review shows 80% of those booked into the jail in Minneapolis are local. <laughs> CNN found no overt evidence any of them were linked to extremist groups. Historian Mark Bray wrote the Antifa handbook and sees a protest that is neither Antifa nor anarchist. If you look at the images, um, some groups may be organized, but there's plenty of individuals or groups of friends who are simply frustrated about the continual police murder of black people and, and uh, have given up hope, it seems, on the ability of the system to reform itself. Federal officials say they've seen indications that extremists on both the left and the right may be taking part in the mayhem, but so far have not produced evidence. Police departments in New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, even Bellevue, Washington, point to criminal elements and organized gangs behind widespread looting. We saw literally people coming by the carloads and with U-Haul vans to loot and destroy and damage our businesses. It's an unorganized combination of looters, troublemakers, and real protesters. Also, those that just don't seem to fit any category. I'm with the Bujahideen. Ryan Teeter goes to protests as part of the Boogaloo movement, fully armed with an assault-style weapon. He drove from North Carolina to Minnesota after learning about police using pepper spray on marchers. We're just a group that believes in uh, ultimate personal freedom, as long as you're not hurting anybody else. The Boogaloo movement has been called right-wing, but a leading expert on extremism say it's hard to categorize. Boogaloo is a slang for civil revolutionary war, says GWU extremism expert J.J. McNabb, but says there are subgroups and they lack cohesion. Some support Trump, support police, some even white supremacists. Others hate the president, hate police, and love the black protesters. Ryan Teeter calls himself a left anarchist. There is no version of this where the police are not the ones at fault. The, the protesters have done nothing wrong. Here. They have been attacked and they are responding with violence to violence, which is completely reasonable. Levi Hicks from rural Indiana says he is also in a Boogaloo group that he says rejects violence and racism. What we stand for is the peaceful disassembling of tyranny on every level between federal, law enforcement, and anything in between. He has carried weapons to protests in Indianapolis and Louisville and recently posted on Facebook a cartoon showing a police officer getting shot in the face. It was never meant to be taken literally or seriously anyway. So the, the, just to be clear, the post of a cop getting his head blown off was not to be taken literally? Absolutely not. I never endorse violence against another person. I would never in any concept recommend that anybody murder a police officer. Radical political theorist and author George Chicarella Marr says the protests go beyond any labels. What we're seeing, as I said, is the end of a trajectory that's gone more than 10 years of growing consciousness, growing resistance, and a growing willingness to honestly confront the powers uh, that continue to oppress certain communities. And that is what we are seeing across the country. More and more differing groups of people joining together to form one large protest, making it difficult for politicians, especially those who try to divide people, from ignoring this. Drew Griffin, CNN, Atlanta.